complete wide open. Train's fence doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw. S is now understanding. Side in the first half, guys, and, and it's... Now, here is Young. He's got 14. When you think of Switzerland, but the game has grown so much in... A great defender, but his... And there... Shoots the three. That one's good. Here's Van Vliet, ejected by Young. And we talk about the many ways Young affects this game. Shot blocking rarely comes up, but it's a testament to his hustle. <laughs> and we welcome you to this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony. This is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. Let's see some of the numbers here for Fred Van Vliet. And, guys, it hasn't been pretty for him in the past five games. He's having one of those scoring slumps that all players go through at some point in the season. But I know he hadn't lost his confidence, and I expect this young man to get after it here tonight. Well, two years after their first title, the Raptors last season missed the playoffs for the first time in eight years. Fred Van Vliet said people are overlooking us again, which is not a bad place to be in. Kevin, this front office finds diamonds in the rough, so it's only a matter of time before they're back in the mix. I agree, David. They are a quality organization. They always find a way. Thank you. And, Doris, it should be an interesting matchup in the low post. How do you see the Battle of the Bigs playing out here tonight? Well, boy, Kevin, this is a classic low post strength on strength contest, and more and more in the modern NBA, that's the exception, not the rule. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. Collins and Capella make up the inside pair. At the guard positions, Young and Herter. And it's Hunter in at the three spot. And for Toronto, inside form, it's Barnes and Siakam. Guard spots filled by Van Vliet and Trent. And it's Ananobi in at the three, the small forward. Now, here is Young. He's a player that you can only hope to slow down as he averages nearly 28 points a game. Herter, no good. Van Vliet wide open. Trains the three-pointer. Van Vliet's got the first three points of the night up on the board for the Raptors. Pass to Young. And here is Capella. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blows. The Hawks shooting their first free throws of this game. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line. Knocking down 80%. Two shots. First one falls for And good on the second, so he makes them both. Here's Trent. Against Miami, he was really on his game. Pass to Van Vliet. Back to Trent. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. And along with production, this team really thrives on Van Vliet's leadership. He sets a great example with his toughness, his dedication, and his teammates believe in him and believe they're going to win, partly because of him. Here's Van Vliet, and we know he can score. He's averaging around 21 and a half points a game. Driving inside. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. You love how much edge Fred Van Vliet plays with. This guy is undersized. He's on the interior. He says, I'm still going to score it. And that one, good. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. There's Van Vliet following the basket by Trey Young. Now 
Van Vliet, and Capella sends it back. The opponents have to be careful when Capella is in the area. What an impressive display of timing. Young inside, covered by Van Vliet. Young's shot is off. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Here's Barnes. No good that time. Collins with some nice D. He kicks to Young. From 11 feet away, Tom shot is good that time. And that makes it a tie ball game. And from this range, Young is automatic. Uh, let him shoot, and he'll knock those down. Van Vliet rebounded by the Hawks. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to the Raptors. A game they definitely felt they could win, and with a break here or there, they probably could have. You know what? The stats certainly looked good, but the fact of the matter is they couldn't deliver in the clutch moments, and that's something you've got to figure out moving forward. That's a very close call. I'm sure he thinks it's a clean block, but looks like it was on the way down. The Hawks have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Capella dishes to Young. He had drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. Toronto's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Here's Van Vliet, rejected by Young. And we talk about the many ways Young affects this game. Shot blocking rarely comes up. But it's a testament to his hustle and determination. It's good. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. Young with the ball. Picked up by Van Vliet. Collins a screen on Van Vliet. Here's Young to the middle. Down to five on the shot clock. The shot will not fall. And Toronto will come the other way. They beat the Hawks during their last encounter in Atlanta. And they really got after it from a defensive standpoint throughout that entire game. The turnovers they forced really tell the story. There, there has to be a willingness to take chances, jumping for steals, getting out in passing lanes, and all of that worked in their favor. One thirty-five left here in the opening quarter. Young against Van Vliet. And Young kicks to Hunter. Pass to Herter. Collins looking around. Young against Van Vliet. And Trey Young hits from deep. Young's got nine points. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Van Vliet against Young. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Ananobi passes to Van Vliet. Thirty-four seconds left to play here in the first. Bucket is good. Nine points in the game so far. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Now here is Young. Driving the lane. Softly drops in the floater. And nice little floater right there. Give Young credit. He's developed the shots he needs to overcome his size limitations. To the right side. Here's Hananobi. Those three pointers off the mark. And that concludes a back and forth play scoring first quarter of play. Hawks lead by one. We'll be back shortly, live from Toronto. Aspect of your game. Toronto trailing. Siakam is out there with Achua. Then it's OG Ananobi. Then it's Brett Van Vliet. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. 
Well, if you think about Fred Van Bleet's handle and his ability to operate at different speeds, you understand how effective he can be on the drive. And Doris, though he's getting the press for his scoring and he's been prolific, Van Fleet's defense is equally as impressive. My goodness, great instincts. Rarely fooled, you can't trick him. Quick feet, strength in the post. You see guys try to take advantage of his lack of size, he won't have it. Well, that's a case where your teammates are showing trust in you and he comes through with flying colors. Bogdanovich with a screen on Van Vliet. Young for three. Rebound by the Raptors. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. And in that one, the offensive execution made the difference. They found and exploited the mismatch repeatedly. Well, it was certainly a game that their analytics people had to love breaking down. I thought they exposed every weakness in the defense. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Atlanta Hawks are back. Last season, they won the Southeast Division for the first time in six seasons. With quality players at every position, things are starting to gel. Trey Young said, this feels good. We just have a lot of belief in each other. Guys, they are poised to be good for a long time. Well, they've clearly made the turn, David. Thanks. On a Ray and t 5G Slam Camp, you just saw an explosive highlight. Outside Williams. Collins a screen on Van Vliet. Van Vliet against Young. High parking shot. And perfect positioning from Van Vliet. Wanting to block shots whenever he can. Great instance. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And boy, he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Alan Ari, he's checked in for the Hawks. Just three to shoot. Young from outside. And basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. But Danilo Gallinari, obviously much more known as a scorer, but how about the court vision there? Toronto lead by three. Van Vliet with it. And he also played a big role in their last game with Miami. And there's the pass to Ananope. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Ananope, he's got his second bucket of the night. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now, here is Young. He's got 14. And, Greg, when it comes to load management, why do we see more of it now than when you play? Well, for me, the science of sport has evolved. And, and it's not just the athlete. It's the technology and the science that goes into making a better athlete. That's why you're seeing load management far more acceptable to the masses now, understanding that this is about the long game. You've got to take care of the ball. They'll punish you if you're that careless. That's right, and that's severe punishment right there. Boy, in a tight game like this, that can change the whole tone. It helps your opponent get into a little bit of a rhythm. Here's Siakam after the basket by Atlanta. Over Okongwu, and that misses everything. Right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. Outside Bogdanovich. Pass to Okongwu. Rejected by Van Vliet, and he's able to get it back. Raptors leading by three. Passes it to Achua. Lays it up off the glass. He's got five. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, having an easy bucket in the paint. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Young dishes to Gallinari. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Siakam's got four rebounds in this game. 
Here's Hananobi. That shot, no good. Good D by Bogdanovich. Young, right side. To the paint. Here's Okongwu. That's in, coming off the assist from Young. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. In Toronto, they've gone 5 of 8 from the floor here in the second quarter. Over 60% shooting. Excellent D there from Williams. The Hawks trail by three. Okongwu, the pass to Williams. And the foul called on OG Ananobi. OG. That's his first foul. The Raptors making a switch here. Makai Luke is checked in. Atlanta also making some changes here. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Gallinari. Kevin Herter comes in for Lou Williams. And it's right in for Young. Fifty-two seconds left in the first half. Capella, the pass to Herter, and it's Bogdanovich in the corner. Just five to shoot. Capella sets a screen for Bogdanovich. That one goes in. This is what we call highly efficient play: working off the screen, getting to the cup. Toronto's gone three or four from long range in the game. Here's the floater. The shot comes out. And so it's right, bringing up the ball for the Atlanta Hawks. They trail by one. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Outside, Bogdanovich. Down low. And stolen by Achua. And bleed on the wing. Over right. Well, we all know that DeLon Wright has instincts as a scorer, but remember, this guy takes pride in his defense. And that's it for the first half of action in what's been a very close game here. The Raptors out in front. They lead by one. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. We've got a heavyweight clash on our hands. This is a star-driven league. You've got two fierce leaders going head-to-head. -head. Both guys trading blows as each one tries to wheel his own team to victory. So get some fresh popcorn ready. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. On the court for Atlanta. And in at the forward positions, Hunter and Collins. At the guard positions, Young and Herter. And it's Capella in at the center, filling out the middle. Now, here is Young. He's got 14. And they have scraped and clawed to get back into this thing. Just chipping away little by little and finally now taking the lead. Free throw no good for Capella. Well, the backstory of Clint Capella is interesting as he was only the second player grade from Switzerland to make it to the NBA. Yeah, Kevin, you know, you don't think of basketball right away when you think of Switzerland, but the game has grown so much in Europe over the years. Guys like Capella, who might have gone into soccer at one point, are now gravitating towards hoops. And Clint Capella is going to pick up a foul. That is his first foul of the game. His first personal foul. First team foul. outside. Barnes screen on Young. Here's Van Vliet. 
And, and right there, Young may never have the physical tools to be a great defender, but his competitiveness overrides it. Uh, I'm sure his teammates love having a guy like Collins on the receiving end of those alley-oops. As fun an assist as you'll get. Oh, here's Van Vliet. He's got 11. Here's Barnes, and the rejection by Collins. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. And the foul OG called on OG and an OB. That's his third, that's his third foul, foul of the game. Second team foul. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Capella, the pass to Young. Shot clock at six. There's a screen by Collins. Here's Hunter. I'll tell you, the skilled defensive effort right there. OG Ananobi contesting shots exactly what you would hope for. Here's Barnes. And that one comes up a bit short. The Hawks leading by three. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Pascal Siakam was the most improved player in 2019. He says, I love that I cannot be able to do something, but if I put in a lot of hours doing it, I can become good at it. The former 27th pick overall said, not to sound arrogant, but I saw this coming. Guys, he bet on himself. He did. He was smart. He certainly put in the work. D.A., thank you. Young outside. And here is Hunter. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. And he makes that one. Well, this to me is where he can be a force. Siakam a three-level score in the painted area. Very dangerous. Herder passes to Young. To the inside. Stolen by Van Vliet. Now the Raptors moving it up. Siakam's running. Van Vliet on the wing. For the lead. That one drops for him. And that's 13 points for Fred Van Vliet. Yeah, this guy is cooking right now. Fred Van Vliet has found his rhythm, and the defense better step up here. Collins, a screen on Van Vliet. Here's Young. Yep, that one goes. Young's got 16. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. And there it is for him. This guy is competitively tough and will not back away from physical defense. Go ahead, Fred Van Lee. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Young dishes to Collins over Barnes. That one off the back iron and out. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Now, here's Hunter. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board Two yet. Two minutes in the third quarter. Two minutes. In his first game after starting in the 2020 All-Star game, Trey Young had an incredible night, dropping 50 points against the Miami Heat. And Young became the fourth youngest NBA player to get to 50. Only Devin Booker, LeBron, and Brandon Jennings got to 50 in a game at a younger age. Perhaps the most impressive oh, part of Trey's performance. Take a break. He did it against Two Coach shots. Eric Spolstra's Miami Heat, one of the top defensive teams in the league. The first one falls. And we've heard some talk, Greg, about the possibility of NBA expansion. Uh, what do you think about that? Kevin, I think it would be great for the league. I mean, I played in Seattle for a season, and I know they would love to have a team back in the great Northwest. Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Okongwu's checked in for Capella. Bogdan Bogdanovich comes in for DeAndre Hunter. Lou Williams is subbed in for Kevin Herter. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line, and boy, has his stroke been on the money. Here's the teardrop. 
and it's good on the way up. Quinn's got his first bucket of the night. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail bite. So it's the Hawks now. The Raptors getting the bucket. Young outside. Kicks to Bogdanovich. It's blocked. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. Right, he's checked in for Trey Young. One twenty one left to play here in the third. Clock at four. Here's Williams. The Hawks again can hit. That's one he knows he should have drained. And stolen by Okongwu. It's hauled in by Achua. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Back to Flynn. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Here's Okongwu. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Williams passes to Okongwu. From 11 feet away, good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. And that's now six points for Onyeka Okongwu. The Raptors have gone a somewhat so far 4 of 10 on their shots in the second half so far. Seven second difference, shot in the game clock. Here's Trent, the rim rattling two handed jam. I bet even they didn't think the pick would work that well. No, no, no. And they get the major league dunk out of it, too. And my question is where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Outside Williams. Home. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. Raptors lead by one. We'll be back shortly, live from Toronto. Elfish, oh, play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this one? How about the secondary playmaking you are getting? Great to have that from the shooting guard spot. Tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. A moment now to reset the lineups. Back to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. So the Raptors five right now. We've got Chris Boucher. He's out there with Barnes. Gary Trent is out there with Pascal Siakam. And it's Flynn in at the one. Now here's Flynn. Pass to Boucher. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Well, look at how the hustle game has been going for the Raptors. The activity level defensively, I, I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. There's a certain resiliency to this team, and, and you're starting to see it. No doubt keeping it very close. They're going to have to step up even more to get over the hump here. Here's Barnes. After the basket by Bogdan Bogdanovich. Barnes kicks to Flynn. Toronto working the ball around now. And going out of bounds. Last touch by Barnes. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for Flynn. Alinari, he's checked in for the Hawks. And so it's Capella who brings up the ball for Atlanta. A two-point game. Golinari up top. Boucher defending. Golinari dishes to Bogdanovich. Capella kicks to Young. Six to shoot. 
Lob pass to Capella. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors will take it the other way. Yeah, simply stated, you have to take care of the basketball, and they don't on that possession. Toronto's gone a very strong four for five from three-point land in the ballgame. Boucher with a screen on Young. For three, Siakam. And the Raptors hit again from deep. This is a guy with size and range. He cannot let Pascal Siakam get those kinds of looks from deep. Young in the corner. The pass to Capella. Shoots the three. That one's good, and the Raptor lead has got back down to two at those points from Young. As a leader, you've got to know when your team needs a response. Young gets that, and great three to answer right back. Van Vliet against Young. At the top of the key, Boucher. This is the Barnes. Pass to Trent. Baseline J on the way, and there are the Raptors with another bucket. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. The Hawks trail by four. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Back to Young. It's over Van Vliet. Again, the Hawks good for two. Game tightening up. No problem. Put the ball in Young's hand and let the young fella go to work. Here's Siakam. And Capella sends it back. Gallinari kicks to Young. Gallinari a screen on Van Vliet. Young with the ball. Now guarded by Siakam. Now oh, that's size and length. Pascal Siakam, so not now, not here. Way to attack there and then create the contact. That is first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Raptors. Chris Boucher taking two shots. And that one falls for Boucher. OG Ananobi's checked in for Toronto. And a switch here also for Atlanta. Hunter's checked in for Bogdanovich. And so Boucher nails both of them. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Lob pass to Capella. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Trent passes to Van Fleet. Now Siakam. Capella covering. Siakam kicks to Trent. Lock at six. Or the three. Hits the three-point bomb. Trent's got the lead up to seven now for the Raptors. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Fans, the loud section gets free t-shirts. Let's see who's the loudest. All right, let's be coming out of court. Come on and get down for your North Star crew. And the Raptors making a change here. Barnes is checked in, and a switch here also for Atlanta. Collins has checked in, and let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, I was able to listen in on Nate McMillan talking to his team. He said, we're getting some looks on the three, but we're not connected. But don't get frustrated. He told them it's a game of ebbs and flows. Keep shooting with confidence. Guys? Thank you, David. Here's Young. Ten minutes remaining in regulation time. Chalk up two there. Young's got 25 points in the game. And tonight is why Young is an all-star. He's got incredible scoring ability. Trey can shoulder the load on that end. 
Toronto leading by five. Van Vliet looking around. Doesn't go for him. Good work defensively by Capella. Collins with it. And now by Barnes. Steps back. Here's Young. Great D that time from Van Vliet. Ananobi passes to Barnes. Driving to the basket. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. This one for three. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. And the defense has to recognize this. Hunter is a legit threat to shoot off the catch. We've got 108 left in the fourth quarter. Collins against Barnes. And the rejection by Collins. Young left side. Got it. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Agile move by Young with the defender right in his face. Slipping past the contact and getting it to go. Barnes can't get it to go. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing fall. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Here's Young. That's tipped. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now. Again and again, they're not in the penalty yet. And you know what? Smart foul. you got to try to extend the game. We got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. So they foul intentionally. First one foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Raptors. Gary Trent Jr. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a five-point game. He knew what was riding on those foul shots and didn't mess around, making this a two-possession game. Who wants a teacher? Make some noise. All right. There's 21 seconds left in the game. And Young kicks to Hunter. Yes! And he has brought them to within two points. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. To me, more often than not, when you attack, good things happen. They foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. Fred Van Vliet. At the line for two. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. Uh, just for this trip to the line, I'll call him by his full name. Frederick Edmund Van Vliet Sr. Had to get that in there. Now we can just go back to Freddie V. Those free throws are the nail in the coffin, guys. Here's Herter, and airballs the triple. That one was way off. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. 15 foul. 
at the line for Toronto. Scotty Barnes, two shots. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Here's Young. He kicks it to Capella. And here's Collins from outside. Misses them. And so it's the Raptors winning this one. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone's satisfied. Yeah, I mean, there were some times that that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to it in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. Now, let's check out our New Balance Player of the Game, Fred Van Vliet.